Welcome to the CA Advanced Authentication Mainframe video. In this video, we will discuss implementing multi-factor authentication for CA Top Secret. In this video series, we will provide an overview of multi-factor authentication, review the benefits and marketplace need, discuss available factors, describe how to install and configure Advanced Authentication Mainframe, so that you can implement authentication and offer some troubleshooting fixes, tips, and tricks. So what is multi-factor authentication? A good example from everyday life is the withdrawing of money from a cash machine. Only the correct combination of a bank card, something that the user possesses, and a PIN, something that the user knows, allows the transaction to be carried out. Multi-factor authentication is a method of computer access control in which a user is only granted access after successfully presenting several separate pieces of evidence to an authentication mechanism. Typically at least two of the following categories. Something you know, such as a password or PIN. Something you have, such as a smart card or RSA token. Or something you are, using biometrics. Multi-factor authentication allows increased diligence in verifying the identity of users who seek access to ZOS, allows this type of authentication to be used for all users or a subset of users, for example, privileged, and allows organizations to comply with federal information processing standards. Administrators can require users to log on to ZOS applications by using RSA Secure ID credentials instead of a password or password phrase. Administrators can require users to log on to ZOS applications through CA Privileged Access Manager by using a personal identity verification or common access smart card followed by a CA top secret password or password phrase. When you decide to authenticate through a RADIUS server, a user opens a mainframe session and logs in with a RADIUS user ID and credentials. If the user is determined to be RADIUS governed, the RADIUS client processes the request and passes to the RADIUS server for validation. So what is the marketplace need? Federal agencies must adopt two-factor authentication for privileged users as directed by the Binding Operational Directive issued in 2015. Large commercial organizations need to avoid destructive processes. And what harms large commercial organizations most? Data breaches, insider fraud, and security access audit issues. So how do we implement Advanced Authentication Mainframe to achieve multi-factor authentication? Install, configure, enable, then authenticate. For more information about CA Advanced Authentication Mainframe, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the CA Top Secret product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA support or CA community sites, or see the learning path. Thank you.